Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Anne's Aesthetics where hopefully we can bring a whole vibe of peace and happiness through fun painting tutorials today. Starting off with the shade Diva Pink, I'm going to work on the upper left portion of the canvas. This is a 8 by 10 inch canvas. The little background music is You Make Me Move. I also have a TikTok and a Pinterest for Anne's Aesthetics, which you can find both in the description box below. Switching to Princess Pink to lighten up. We're creating basically a sky element right now, so kind of dabbing to create a little bit of cloud textures. And then to really give it some depth, we're going to go in with a lighter pink. This is cameo pink, and I'm going to take that and go back in to create even more highlights of the clouds. We're going to have a cotton candy moment taking the shade cool blue and this little sponge that I got from Walmart in like a pack that was $5. I am going to sponge on this blue onto the canvas.
And then with the extra that's kind of left on the sponge, I'm just going to carefully blend those two colors together. So I'm going to start with creating some waterfalls and I'm taking a paintbrush that is roughly the size of the waterfall, like the width I want it to be, and I'm going to be using a white paint for this. I personally decided to use a, I call them scraggly brushes because they have a little more wear and tear on them and I like to get that flow feeling of their space between, you know, the water, the steam or whatever that is, and the sky, the evaporation. I'm also utilizing my fingers to help blend in. I'm dabbing like white around the tops to make it look like, you know, how it is at the top of a waterfall. It's kind of steamy. It's got that misty appearance. So that's what I'm doing here. Using the same blue shade from earlier that we used for the background, I'm going to create the first tree for our little forest. And I'm taking a fan brush. I had some white left over from the waterfall, so I'm going to mix it with the white and use that to do some highlighting on the tree. I'm going to switch to using a darker shade, um, Admiral, Brew, <laughs> Admiral Blue, and mixing that in with that white blue lighter shade we did earlier to create some darker trees that look like they're farther back um, on the other side.
I'm going to be mixing a little tiny bit of that darker blue and then more of a true blue is what it's called to create the trees for the next layer. This painting consists of a lot of different layers, so you really have to be patient with the whole process. But after we get done with these trees, we're going to move on next to doing the grass and shaping out where the trees will be. The first shade I'm using is Arbor Green for that base, and then I'm going over with some Limeade to really give it some highlights and make it look like there's different layers to the grass. When it comes to blending, I just keep in mind as if I were doing my makeup. I don't know if this will work for others, but it works for me. I used to really love makeup and doing my eyeshadow, um, so I really developed those blending skills. And I kind of use similar techniques and methods to paint as well. So you'll see me using circling swirl motions. You'll see me do swiping motions. You'll see me just lightly um, hold the brush at the end to create just barely blending and then you also see me hold the brush closer at the bottom to get really detailed lines. And you don't have to go with the same direction I did for the trees and the little hut that we're going to create. You could flip it and do the other side, or you could just have the tree in the middle and have the river going on to a side. It's totally up to you, and you can use your own colors. Purple would be great in the sky for this to give it like a nighttime theme. Using a tiny little detail brush, I'm going to draw some, well, paint a little bit of some stars and work on doing a very curvy sea moon. And then I'm going to use this brush to also give some detail lines to the waterfalls to make it look like that water is really flowing and drawing some currents in there. After that was drying, I went and I took the Diva Pink color to create a rounded triangle rounded triangle shape to this is going to be the door that pink and then the yellow circles are for the little windows that are going to be within the tree this is our inspiration for today's video they did an amazing job with this canvas painting and i just wanted to create something in my own version i'm um, I just do painting as a hobby. I don't consider myself an artist per se. I just really enjoy taking the time to paint and work on myself and see how I can develop over time. And I sometimes really end up liking what I create. Like this painting I think came out pretty well. But for the real artists who actually come up with the inspiration, we are beyond grateful and you should go check them out. Thank you. 
So this is like a light blue shade. It's kind of got some gray in the blue. It's like a gray blue. I'm taking this to give the highlight of the roots that are on the tree. And while that's still wet, I'm going to be taking that original color cool blue that we used in the beginning and I'm going to add the smallest amount to the grayish blue mixture in order to create like this highlighting shade for the roots as well. shade is daffodil yellow i just wanted to clean them up because they had gotten a little messed up during the process so i'm just repainting over them to give them a more circular shape it's time to switch back to the grass so i am starting with that dark green shade again and I did speed this up, obviously, because we had already seen the grass um, process, but I figured I would include the entire clip to kind of give a longer video for y'all today. And it's kind of satisfying to watch this and see how fast it is, I guess. I'm taking this up the tree as well, and we're going to do it over the windows on each side. And then I am going to go eventually back in with the limeade shade to highlight in some different areas. Using a white acrylic marker, I'm going to highlight the roots and just very gently draw very scraggly lines. As I said before, these are going to be windows, so I'm taking a black acrylic marker now to trace out the window shape, and then I'm adding the as close as I could as a shade to the cool blue that we used in the beginning to highlight some of the roots and also highlight that one side, the left side of the windows. Diva pink, and then we're going to do Admiral Blue, and then we are going to do Purple Pansy, and take these shades to create the door for the um, tree that's like a little house. Thanksgiving is coming up. Do you all have plans? I do, but I also have to work the... Um, a very long shift the two days after it so i'm kind of looking forward to thanksgiving but i'm also dreading what comes after so after i outlined purple pansy around the door i am taking a very tiny brush with some diva pink and very very lightly just blending out the edges to kind of give it a more blended look
Going to give it even more depth and layer. So I'm blending the limeade with a little bit of that yellow, and I'm gonna use that for my next highlighting shade. The waterfalls was, were still bugging me a little bit, so I went back in with a very like messed up brush, as I call them, the ones that are straggly, and I just put a very small amount of white over the trees to kind of look at, make it look more blended in with one another. For finishing up this painting, I used Mod Podge, um, the glossy kind, to seal it, and then I also did sign my canvas. It's up to you whether or not you'd like to sign yours, but I think the finish looked really turned out pretty cute. Um, this is what it looks like. I really hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. This longer video is kind of different for me, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you consider coming back, liking, sharing, subscribing, and have a wonderful, happy rest of your day. Bye, everyone.